I was just with the Royal Tour with Catherine and William in Canada, and um, it was there was a lot of focus on her fashion naturally, um, and there's a lot of t- talk of her being a fashion icon. I actually do. I don't think she is a fashion icon in the true sense of the word. If you look at um, fashion icons that we're we have been associated with in the past, such as you know Audrey Hepburn and Jackie Onassis, they all have a very distinctive original style, you know, almost an iconic look. And and Catherine, you know, as as beautiful as she is and as well dressed and groomed she is, she really doesn't have a distinctive look that's uniquely her own. However, she's clearly a fashion leader in the sense that everything that she wears. Um, whether it's a jacket, whether it's jeans, or what, whatever item of clothing she wears is instantly copied and sold out online, sometimes literally within minutes. Some pieces she's been wearing have actually, you know, been um, from a few seasons past. Or in that Alexander McQueen dress that she wore in Prince Edward Island, uh, that nautical little look, that was that dress had actually been worn by Sarah Jessica Parker a few years ago. So she's certainly not on a fashion forward trend. It was sort of a lilac, as a soft lilac color, again, by Alexandra McQueen. Obviously not one of his more cutting-edge avant-garde designs. Um, that wouldn't be more her style. She, she likes these simple silhouettes. I like to see a little bit something, a little bit more edgy. Well, I love her in color. I think that green Diane von Furstenberg dress that she wore to the reception was stunning. I think she really looks good in strong, bright colors. So I love that dress. And I think she's very smart. She doesn't really want the focus to be on her clothes. That's why I think actually, you know, her clothes are a little bit more understated. But of course, like the rest of us, we all sort of are obsessively watching everything that she does wear.